Hey folks, how are you? It is Simon here. Uh, thanks so much for checking out the show today. What we're going to do is I had a message from Paul. And Paul uh, was learning some solos. He's learning some solos in Oh No Not You Again, When the War Is Over, Wicked Games, etc. But he asked me about how to get certain tones for certain songs. So um, I thought we would have a bit of a rundown just on those three songs. Um, luckily, they're all Stratocaster songs, so um, you'll need a Stratocaster. You probably use Telecaster as well to kind of get the single coil situation happening. Um, but uh, that's, uh, that's what we're going to do. If you have any problems with hearing anything or whatever, or you can't hear the vocal or you can't hear the guitar loud enough, just let me know and I'll do the dials as we go. Um, but first, I thought we would start off with Wicked Game. Now, Wicked Game by Chris Isaac's classic tune. Um, it's a very clean sound. So, my signal path here is I have the Stratocaster and I have it going into my pedal board. I actually don't have anything on the pedal board on for this particular tune, but I do have uh, it going into a deluxe reverb and that's got reverb on it. So, you're going to need some reverb for this tune because there's quite a bit of reverb on it. The other thing with this tune is that you need the second position of the, um, the pickup position, so second position. And you're going to have this sort of... Um, and you're going to use the tremolo arm a little bit, right? So you have the... Now, um, I've got the amp on about three and a half which is pretty loud, um, and I've got the treble on eight and the bass on six. So that, you see what I mean? If you have any questions along the way, please don't hesitate to ask. Say hello in the chat there. Um, it would be nice to hear from you. Let me just put that on so I can see the comments. So that is, the sound of the Chris Isaac song, right? So, not a crazy amount of reverb. You see what I mean? Not a crazy amount of reverb. Let me just get this going. Should have done this before. Um, yeah, but do let me know you're out there, people. That would be great. If you do have any questions, just let me know. My channel live. Beautiful. Just let me know. There we go. All right. So, um, how to play it? Maybe that might be interesting. So, first thing is you do when you hit the open B string, you've got to engage the tremolo arm. So push it down a little bit, and then release. You don't have to go crazy here, like, uh, you know, but just push a little, right? So, right? and then you get that. So with the tremolo arm, I always find that so I, I have a little Stratocaster spring in there. I don't know if you have one of those. This is a vintage tremolo arm system. But I find that there's actually a bit of give on the tremolo arm itself. So make sure that before you sort of engage it, you're at the beginning of pushing the tremolo arm in. Right? So I'm literally pushing it like two millimeters there. Right? Um, and then the sort of other parts we've got. Right? So it's quite a lush sound. And when he's playing the chords, he, he's engaging the tremolo arm you know, like a tiny dip and then coming up. Okay, 
So that is number one. That was Wicked Game by Chris Isaac. I had a little late night last night. I was a bit naughty. So I'm a bit slow today. Anyway, okay, so that's number one. The second question I had was on Oh No, Not You Again by Australian Crawl. Now, um, there's a few guitars on this. The first guitar, the intro guitar, you're going to be, need to be on position four on the Stratocaster. Right? So you get the... Oh, you hit the D first. So this is a similar sort of sound to the Chris Isaac song. Hi, Greg. How are you? Thanks for checking in. I really appreciate that. If you have any questions on the sounds or how we're getting the sounds as we go, please don't hesitate to ask. So, um, next one is... Uh, oh, no, not you again. Now... Now, it's a similar sort of sound, but I actually might turn the amp up a little bit to so you get a bit more... a bit more break-up. And with this one, it's kind of got a bit of a bloom sort of feel. So I'm going to use something called an exotic EP booster. I'll put links to all the, the things I'm using down below. Um, exotic EP booster, like a relatively expensive pedal for a one sort of trick pony. But it is really awesome. It just makes everything sound better. Um, you could use an MXR micro amp for the same sort of thing. So basically you're trying to push the amp a little bit. See what I mean? Right? So that's the intro. Oh, no, gee. <laughs> that was a big night last night. Okay, so that is the rhythm tone. Now, the, uh, the, the lead guitar on that one, Simon Binks's lead guitar sound. Now, I, for overdrive, I'm using... Oh, that's we should talk about that a little bit. So, when I really hit that, you can hear it's quite pushy, yeah? All right, so that's just the amp overdriving. Now, if you can get that kind of breakup situation and then you put an overdrive pedal on top, you're kind of breaking up the breakup, which is cool, right? So, um, how does that bit go? Let me just put my chart up because, you know, I forget these things. See what I mean? Um, then. get that kind of yeah. right. so I'm in the fourth position here So my chain is Stratocaster, fourth position, into the Dual Fusion. This, a Dual Fusion is by Wampler. It's a double pedal pedal. Um, uh, the blue side is the sort of lower gain side, and the red side is the higher gain side, which we're going to use in a second. And then I've got that going into an EP booster at about, you know, not quite halfway up. But you can hear it pushing the... I'll turn that up a little bit, maybe. Sound right, pretty nice sound. Um, 
So you get the idea of what's happening there. I mean, you could use really any overdrive pedal to get that effect. But if you do have a tube amp and you have the possibility of turning it up so that it's kind of pretty loud, and then you put the overdrive in front of it, with not loads and loads of drive, I can turn the drive down a little bit. Right. You get that kind of, it still sounds like a Stratocaster. Um, I've also got probably a bit too much reverb on. <laughs> so turn the reverb down to like two and a half. I am a sucker for reverb, so <laughs> you know what you do. Now the other thing that happens at the end of the solo, I'm remembering as I come out of my going out too late night haze situation, is, let me just read this through. I know it wasn't the greatest guitar playing ever. Uh, I'm literally reading it from the chart because I've forgotten how it goes. But there, he does engage a uh, a delay. So he goes. Um, Engage, and then he goes, and it didn't really work very well. Here we go. Let's try that again. That's probably a bit long, so let me just figure this out. So he goes, let's play that line again. You're going. Oh. Those repeats, that was quite good, quite like that. Right? Oh, a bit too many repeats. So, and then he plays like um, this crazy thing that was almost impossible to figure out because of the delay. <laughs> comes to the end of the solo. Now, I, for the delay, I'm actually using quite a cheap delay there. It is a JHS 3 Series digital slash analog delay. Um, they're really good, those JHS pedals. Really, really good. They're good value. Sound good. Um, but you get, you see what I mean? So that when you engage the... And then he's... Um, but you get lots of the lots of the repeats, right? So. Take some of those repeats out, because obviously, if you have too many repeats on the delay, it'll just. going to be too many and you'll get sort of a delay feedback situation all right so any questions so far no questions so far you're a very compliant audience thank you so much um now uh, and now a song i actually can't play 
So, um, Paul, you also asked about uh, when the war is over by Cole Chisel. I had a quick look this morning at the solo. Jeez, he's a good guitar player, isn't he? Ian Moss. Um, I want to go and see Ian Moss about, I don't know, was it a year ago at the Enmore Theatre here in Sydney? Man, he is a great guitar player. So, um, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to turn the amp up even more. So, amp's on five. Now, um, the cool thing about the solo in When the War is Over, as I'm listening to it now, um, he's got quite a lot of overdrive. So he starts on... So I'm using the red side of the overdrive on the Wampler Dual Fusion overdrive pedal here. Like I say, you can use lots of different overdrives. I like overdrives that are quite transparent so you can still hear the actual kind of guitar that you're playing. Like... Still sounds like a Stratocaster, even though there's actually tons of overdrive. So I'm going to put a bit more um, reverb. It's in A major this song. And then it does the same sort of thing again. All that the way Ian Moss plays guitar, he's got really, really nice touch. And then. Does these bends? So we've gone from right, and then and then into the fourth position of uh, F sharp minor pentatonic. And then the last little phrase is something like that. So not a song I can play, but that is the sound. And um, the neck pickup, right, which is an awesome sound. But a lot of... So it's so that you can uh, put it really, really loud. Don't hit it hard. And it's all you get there. So, that is a run through, few, through a few sounds and how you get the sounds. The biggest thing with all of the overdrive things, if you can make the, the amp overdrive a little, and then you put the overdrive on top, it always sounds absolutely fantastic. Um, if you don't have the opportunity to do that, let's turn the amp down, all the way down to the bottom. I've also got an attenuator on the amp here, so, you know, I didn't want to kill my neighbours so early on a Sunday morning. Make sure that that's not too loud. Right, so... If you didn't have the opportunity to turn the amp up and get the, the sort of some of the pre the sort of the push from the 
you know, it's going to sound... It just won't sound as kind of big in a way. But you can, you can still get pretty close to the sounds. Um, really, it's just about having the right pickup and the, a right guitar. So for those three songs, Stratocaster really is, is great. Okay, so I think that's all I have. I haven't had any questions about anything random, so uh, that's cool. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I'm just going to give you two seconds to get a question if you have any questions about any of the things on the Patreon um, channel that's been going on. So um, I'm going to put that up whilst we're there. Um, so every single chart, every single song, every single lesson I do here at YouTube has a chart and that's available at Patreon forward slash Simon Morell. Um, there's uh, absolutely heaps of lessons there now. And also there are exclusive lessons, one new lesson every, or two new lessons, exclusive lessons every single month that don't appear anywhere else and only appear there. Um, and all the charts generally come in PDF and Guitar Pro format, so if you use a Guitar Pro, that is awesome. Okay, so that's the three sounds. Just to summarise, Wicked Game, I had, I had, let's turn that up a little bit. I had the, what did I have? Second position. Tremolo, I'm in hand, hit the thing. So cool, but you push it and let's get rid of that banner, it's in the way. Um, so you push the tremolo arm and then release, right? Make sense? And Beautiful. Right? Right? That's about the right sort of sound. I mean, the thing is, you can go a bit crazier on the reverb. You know? Because reverb is awesome, right? Okay, so that was the first one. The second one was... Um, oh, no, not you. Oh, no, not you again by Australian Crawl. Now, here we went to the fourth position. My katana, no, that's not my through my katana. The katana just behind me is my student amp. This is awesome, though, really an amazing thing. I'm actually using a Fender Deluxe reverb, but you know, like I say, all these things are really, you know, you can get those sounds out of that, right? So I don't know how well it's going to pick it up, but let's try. So, but this means that the the katana is going to be coming in through this mic. So I don't know how well you're going to hear that. Let's find out. Uh, let's turn the cloud off there. Uh, volume. Master. Can you hear that at all? Tell me. I mean, obviously, it's a completely different situation between this katana and the deluxe reverb, right? 
So it's a bit boxy at the moment, so let's de-box it. That sounds pretty good in here. Sweet in here. Okay, cool. Um, I'd probably put a bit more reverb. It's a pretty amazing amp, right? Um, so that's um, the Wicked Game thing. Take the reverb out. I'm going to put a bit of the booster circuit. pretty sweet as well. So, let's just turn that off. I don't want to wake up the neighbours. Okay, so thanks so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Appreciate the comments, Greg. That always makes my life a bit easier. And I will see you in another stream next month. Any questions, just get in touch. I'll put the details of the settings and stuff in the description right now. Have a good day. I'll see you later. Ciao.